What's up guys, Vexlum here, and today we're playing some Pokemon Violet. I already went ahead and got my character created and everything. I tried recording earlier, not knowing that the entire time that my odd, uh, the footage was just very choppy. Now it's not. I got it running very smooth now. And so I went ahead and changed my character from the last way he looked, but he still looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and do ready. I'm not going to wear the headset just yet because the music is extremely loud and I'll have to turn it down and then turn it back up. But, uh, here we go. Enrollment complete. I've been waiting a while to play this game. Now I got it on the actual Switch. I was playing it on the Yuzu. Yuva Academy. Leading the way into the future while valuing our individu individuality. This is going to be tough. It's time for you, too, to dive into the world of Pokémon. Looks so good. Director Clavel, head of Yuva Academy. Paldea is a sprawling region bursting with lush nature and magnificent landscapes. It is also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokémon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. It's a cute little one. Pokémon can be found living all over. In the seas, in the skies, and even in our cities and towns. We humans coexist with Pokémon, as we both help one another to live and thrive. Yuva Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. And as Pokémon trainers, they have their Pokémon do battle, growing alongside them. While our robust curriculum of coursework helps our students draw forth their fullest potential, it is within these halls that you will find your friends, your Pokémon, and your true self. We, the faculty and the staff at Yuva Academy, can't wait to welcome you with open arms. Luckily, I've only got like... maybe 10 minutes in... on my last recording. Yeah, so far it's running perfect. That was probably extremely loud. But yeah, now it's running completely smooth. I should have looked at my screen literally to my right when I was playing it the first time, but I didn't think about it. Then I made sure this time that it wasn't working. And I know this is going to be a big file, but it's worth it. So it might be a while before these videos come out because they will take a while to upload. I just went ahead and told OBS, you know what, make the file as big as you want. I just want to record really good gameplay, so it's going to look a lot better than most stuff that I put on my channel. But they will take time to upload in between each other because of how big the file is and just my internet connection in general. Okay. Once we finally get our footing down... I will change the volume so I can put my headset on. Okay. Now we can just turn that up all the way. Right.
I'm not sure how much music means to you guys, but hopefully it won't be as bad. Let me turn down my thing, too, just a little bit. Test, test. Okay. Yep. Okay. Time to go see Mama. Good morning, Vexilum. Oh, already in your uniform and everything. Well, it is your first day at your new school after all. I'm so excited for you. Still, you might want to cool your engines before you go racing out the door. The school contacted me and said that you're supposed to wait here a little while longer. Their words, not mine. Apparently there's something very important for your first day that still hasn't arrived. Maybe that's the very thing we're waiting for. Vexilum, get the door, would you? Do forgive the intrusion. You are Master Vexilum, yes? On behalf of the Academy, I must apologize for the late arrival of your enrollment documents. Ah, and also for my delay in introducing myself. I am the director of Yuva Academy. You may call me Mr. Clavel. The director? And you came in person to help my son with his first day? Well, I am responsible for the entire academy, including any failures on its part. So here at last are the enrollment documents that should have been delivered to you. Goodness, you really needn't have. Since you come all this way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? Uh, no need to trouble yourself. Vexlum, I've got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. Why don't you go head back up to your room and finish getting ready for school? You'll need your bag and your hat as well. Now, Mr. Clavel, you simply must join me for a cuppa this way. Well, how can I refuse such a kind offer? My voices are probably going to sound generally the same. Just letting you know. I'm not that good. Okay. Time to grab our book bag and our hat. Nice. Okay, the adventure guide. Alright, I already know how all that stuff works. Now, the real test is making sure that outside works fine. That's the problem I had last time. Oh, just look at you. All ready for your big first day. Yes, the uniform of our storied academy suits you quite well indeed. Oh, gracious. How very careless of me. I had entirely forgotten that I've something else for you, Master Vexilum. A most important thing. But your living room is hardly the place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? I wonder what this important thing might be. Let's follow the director out and see, shall we? Ooh, diddly do. Oh yeah, it's looking good so far. Yeah. Right then. Dear Pokemon, time to come out of your Pokeballs.
provide each student entering the academy a Pokemon of their own. I'll ask you to choose which among these three you'd like to have as your partner. Sprigatito, the grass cat Pokemon. Fuecoco, the fire croc Pokemon. And Quaxly, the duckling Pokemon. They are all very good company. Why, they usually refuse to even leave my side. What's this? Hmm. So it turns out, they're more interested in you, Master Vexilum, than familiar old me. I do wish I could stay and see which one you'll choose, but I must be off to my next home visit. I'll be at the house just over there. Take your time with your decision, then come find me once your mind is made up. Now, if you'll excuse me, until next we meet. What a mannerly fellow that director of yours is. These three are all lovely, but you need to choose just one, right? Not an easy task. Why not take this opportunity to walk about with these little ones and get to know them? I'm sure they have lots to teach you. Oh, but before you go, I got you a little something to celebrate your big day. Take it with you if you're going out on your own. You have obtained the Rotom phone. Latest model of smartphone, Rotom. It's a brand new phone. According to the instructions, you can check the map by pressing the Y button. It'll help keep you from getting lost, so take good care of your new gadget, okay? Now off you go, have fun. I sure will. Okay, now for the next test to see if it's running smooth. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. Now, I think when I was testing it out to look at stuff, I saw a Pokeball bat here. And we can't run until we get so far down the road. Yeah, here it is. A potion. I think I also have some stuff I can use for the Rotom phone because I played Let's Go Pikachu. What the? Oh, Quaxly. What you got, bud? Okay. Let's go, guys. We need to head down here so we can start sprinting. Oh, they're just looking at stuff. All right. Making my way downtown, walking fast. Come on, can I run yet? I wanna run already, I'm going too slow. Cabo Poco. Okay, there we go. Now we're running. This is Kabu Poco. It's not much. Just a little pinch of community. But it's home. The power of science is amazing. If you connect with friends, you can head out on adventures together. Up to four of you at a time. Ooh, I would love to get a squad going. On Pokemon? playing together. If anybody wants to, let me know. I'd love to squad up. Alright, here we go. These cutscenes look absolutely beautiful. I'm not even gonna lie. Like he I love my guy.
so adorable. Whoa, who's this baddie? She's kind of fine, I ain't gonna lie. Not quite. Master Vexilum has yet to make his choice, you see. I do wonder which one of them he would choose. Oh, that was her talking. Whoops. She sounds like a man. Pokemon know how to make some baddies. I'll give him that. Now, anyone who knows me knows what type of Pokemon player I am. Buenas, we haven't met, have we? I must say, I wasn't expecting you. I wasn't I wasn't expecting to see you here quite so soon. Hang on, director. Is this who I think it is? Yes. This is our academy's newest student. Master Vexilum. He will be attending as of today. So, you're the kid that moved up on the road. I've been dying to find out more about you. Bro, I want to know a lot about you. I'm Nimona. What's up, Nimona? Normally, I live in the school dorms, but home is here. What do you say, new neighbor? Want to be friends? Bro, I want to be more than friends. Love that enthusiasm. We're going to get along just fine. Miss Nimona is president of our student council and a champion ranked trainer in her own right. I absolutely love Pokemon battling. In fact, we should battle right now. You and me. Easy now. You two will be in the same class, so you'll have plenty of time to battle later. And get to know one another better, of course. We're going to be neighbors and classmates? Nice. We'll be able to battle all we want. On that note, Master of Exilum. Have you decided which of these Pokemon you will like to be your first partner? Gotta go great. I mean, gotta go water. I'm a water man. It may seem quite, it may seem quiet, but it's my streams of water can put out any fire. You'll see. Would you like to go with our good water type Pokemon, Quaxly here? Yes. You chose Quaxly. Would you like to give him a nickname? Nah. I don't like giving nicknames to him. I like just keeping their name the way it is. It makes us feel more in line, I guess. I love him already. Quaxley seems to have taken a liking to you, Master Vexilum. This is your first Pokemon, yes? Please raise it with love and care. And of course, be sure to keep it tucked safely inside a Pokeball. My little buddy. Vexilum, I can't believe you actually chose Quaxley. I mean, like, way to make the perfect choice for you. You two make such a good combo. Can I choose one of these Pokemon too, Director Clavel? Oh, but did you not receive a Pokemon when you entered the Academy, Miss Nimona? Not back then, no. I had other Pokemon I was focused on raising at the time. But now I want to raise a new Pokemon alongside Vexlum while he raises his own new partner. Indeed. A rather splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of these Pokémon on equal footing with Master Vexlum here, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Yes! Since Vexlum chose Quaxley, I'll go for this little one. Nice to meet you, Fuecoco. Welcome to the team. Alright then. Now that we've chosen our Pokémon, we have to battle. 
I'll be waiting for you down at the beach. Come join me when you're ready. Our first battle. As you may have noticed, Miss Nimona is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling. But I do hope you'll join her for a battle. It will help you get to know your own Pokemon as well. Let me know if you guys like my Mr. Clavel, or if I should go a little deeper. Let's go. Oh, wow. Now, if I remember correctly, when I was playing the Yuzu emulator, I should be able to take a picture, right? What? <gasps> Little buddy. No way. That is so cool. That is awesome. All right. Uh, picture, picture. How do I take a picture? Oh, yeah, Rotom phone. What? Oh, I wait a minute. How do I um? How do I put in showing that I've played Let's Go Pikachu and all that stuff? Cause I should have the case for that, and for Shield. Yeah, but I don't see it in here. But that's fine. Let me go ahead and take off my hat too. There we go. Okay. There we go. Oh, right. Oh, there's filters too? This is cool. Oh my god, this is adorable. Stop. This is too cute. I love it. Oh, so you can like change the facial expressions? Can I zoom? No. Uh, how do I capture? There we go. Oh, wait. There we go. That's going to be the thumbnail right there. You guys will see that. All right. How much time we at? 23 minutes. All right, we'll go ahead and do this battle, and we'll see how it goes from there. And this would end our first episode. And if you guys like it, let me know. And if you guys would like to join me, since it has four-player co-op, let me also know. And maybe we can team up. Let's go ahead and get our first battle in. Anyone can be a Pokemon trainer as long as they have Pokemon by their side. It is our duty as trainers to help our Pokemon grow stronger through battle. So, you ready to battle me, Vexel? Uh, yeah. I've been ready. Perfecto. I'm so excited for this battle. I think I'll use... Miss Nimona. I trust you remember that Master Vexlum is wholly inexperienced in Pokemon battling. <laughs> Whoops. Good call, Director. I was about to send out one of my usual partners right off the bat. I guess I'll take this chance to try out my new buddy instead. Come on, Vexlum. Let's have us a fruitful battle. Damn, she's fine. You were challenged by Pokemon trainer Nimona. Alright, let's do it. Versus. I know this is your first Pokemon battle, so let's just have some fun. I like the music. You 
must have been studying up. Smart move. Water is strong against fire. You think that'll take me down? Nah. Two hits, technically. We defeated Nimona. That was fast, not gonna lie. Wow, not bad, neighbor. $300 for our first match. Look at you winning the first battle ever. You've got even more potential than I thought. You're gonna be a strong trainer for sure. But now I wanna try a different strategy. Let's go again, just one more battle. Master Vexlum and his Quaxley are surely weary already from that last battle. Ah, sorry. I kind of got caught up in all the excitement. I'm really sorry, Vexlum. Same to your Quaxley, too. Let's battle again soon. Oh, definitely. We're definitely... We'll definitely battle more. You two seem to be becoming fast friends. Though, you've only just met. Can I count on you to take your new schoolmate here under your wing, Miss Nimona? I'm sure he can learn a great deal from a champion-ranked trainer such as yourself. You bet, sir. Oh. Oh, that reminds me. Since you're new to training Pokemon, there's an app you definitely need. You have a smartphone, right? Let me see it for a sec. Alright, we got the Pokedex now. The Pokedex will automatically register any Pokemon you catch. It's a must-have for Pokemon trainers. It's a super handy app. Our homeroom teacher, Mr. Jack, actually made it himself. Back in my day, we used ordinary paper and handwritten notes to compile our Pokedexes. It's quite the age we live in now. Oof. Filling out a Pokedex by hand? I can't even imagine how much work that would take. Oh, ho, ho. no, I suppose you can't. Yet, no matter how much the times have changed, the wonder of meeting new Pokemon never does. That is truly timeless pleasure. And the more Pokemon that you encounter, the more you'll find yourself growing and changing. I hope you will both work hard toward your goal of completing your own Pokedexes. Now, Miss Nimona, I do still have a few matters to discuss with your parents. Could I depend on you to see Master Vexlum to the Academy? You would be doing me quite a favor. Of course, leave it to me. Then I leave him in your capable hands. All right, little one. It's time you and I were on our way. This music's got me pumped. Maybe I ought to make a little more time to work on my Pokedex along with all my battling. Oh, right. Speaking of Pokedexes, Vexlum, you've probably never caught a wild Pokemon, right? I'll show you the ropes before I take it to the Academy. Come with me. Yes, ma'am. Opening your Pokedex. Okay, so it's the minus button? Oh, okay. It's a cool different menu. Follow the Mona. Alright, I think this will be the last part. Is learning to catch. Just, you know, trying to get the basics out of the way first. Oh. Oh, it's Mother. Oh, Vexilum. I hear that Nimona here will be taking you to school. That's right, ma'am. Leave it to me. So, you've already managed to make a friend. And I read all about your wonderful teachers you'll be looking after you at the school. Plus so many handy facilities you can use as much as you like. 
Add in your new friend, Nimona, and it sounds like the school life is shaping up to be fantastic. Now, you'll be staying at the school dorms, so I want you to promise me you'll eat proper meals. Here's a bit of spending money to start off with. I also packed a lunch for your first day. Got a sandwich? A dish made by sandwich, vegetables, meat, and other ingredients. It makes a fantastic meal. Oh, and maybe you'd better take these, too. Five potions. Ooh, nice. Use them on that precious little partner of yours, should it get hurt in battle. I know every day in your new life is going to be full of exciting experiences far from home. Just try to savor them all. The good times and hard times, too. But if you ever want to come back home, you know your bed is always ready for you. Oh, all right then. You two had better be off, I suppose. Take care on the way to school. Your mother's so nice, Vexilum. Oh, but I was going to teach you how to catch wild Pokemon. Come on, vamos! This way. Maybe I should give her a higher pitch voice now, since we might not see the mom much. It would make more sense. Let's catch our first Pokemon. Ooh, I like this. This area. All right, this here is Poco Path. It's the path that leads to adventures for you and me. Out here, things are different than in town. You're gonna see wild Pokemon out and about. You're gonna see, they'll be on the path and in the grass and such. Get too close to one and you'll have to battle, but you've got Quaxley for that, right? And if you wanna try and catch a Pokemon, you gotta use a good old Pokeball. I've got tons. Have a few. Alright. Oink, oink. Ooh, what luck. Time for some learning by doing. Try battling this Lechonk, Vexilum. Yo, ass is mine. Ooh. Okay, so water gun is kind of a heavy attack, so I'm gonna go ahead and use pound. Okay. Alright, now let's go ahead and use the Pokemon. There we go. The chunk was caught. I love that whole new feature of being able to just throw your Pokemon out and all that stuff now. Lechonk's data has been added. The hog Pokemon. I think if you guys like this, I'll start naming them after you guys. But for now, I'm just going to leave them without nicknames. Lechonk. Hala, that was awesome. You caught the very first Pokemon you went for. I'm crummy when it comes to actually catching Pokemon. Maybe you should give me tips. Anyway, we have some more Pokeballs just in case. Not every catch works out. Ten. Damn, she just giving me a whole bunch of them. Weaken the Pokemon, then throw the Pokeball. Remember that, and you'll be fine. Now, go battle those wild Pokemon and catch some of them. Let's meet back up at that lighthouse over there. You can see our school from the top. Ooh, 
The Pokemon you see wandering around in tall grass caves and elsewhere are wild Pokemon. When you run into a wild Pokemon, a Pokemon battle will begin. You can also start a battle by looking toward a wild Pokemon and throwing one of your Pokeballs. Oh. This, try this tactic out to battle Pokemon that are up in trees or flying in the, gr in the sky. That is really neat. Head to the lighthouse. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and save that. Uh, ch -ch -ch. And I think that'll be what we'll do for the first episode so far. Also, I just got done watching the Nintendo presentation. So I got the Game Boy Advance and Game Boy stuff here. And I also pre-ordered Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'm very excited for Nintendo stuff coming out. So... Uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy this uh, Pokemon series as much as I love Pokemon, and I just never got to play this game. I played Sword and Shield, but it just didn't hit for me. It's the only one I haven't beaten, but only because it just didn't feel... I wasn't attached to that one. I only got, like, maybe a few gems in, and that was it. But this one I'm liking so far. Just straight up the rip, I can already tell I'm going to like this game a lot. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.